Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're gonna add POE oil into a, an R22 system that utilizes mineral oil. We changed out an evaporator coil and filled it back up with 407C so as not to use R22. Uh, maybe save them a little money on the uh, refrigerant. Just thought I'd uh, bring you guys along as we added that into it. Check it out. Okay guys, we're gonna um, pump some uh, POE oil into this R22 system that utilizes mineral oil as its lubricant. Well, we changed the evaporator coil just now, and um, so uh, we're charging it up with 407C, but we're gonna add some of this uh, POE oil into it. So I went out and got the uh, yellow jacket uh, pump for this. And so basically as you, you lift up on this, it's gonna siphon in through the uh through the through here into the pump and then as you push down it's actually going to pump out the red hose and into the system um, the yellow jacket uh, pump is made to uh made so that you can uh, pump the system in pump the oil in to the system while it's running we're going to show you guys how to do it right now so Okay, so we already uh, we've already primed this hose up by siphoning in the uh, oil down here, and so we know that we 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 pulled up on this, and we actually opened that, and we siphoned it in, and we pumped it out, so that we're primed down here. So now we're going to shut off our valve there, and we're going to hook it up to the low side. And so for the purposes of the video, I'm not going to turn on the AC uh, right now, just so that we can have a little bit of quiet. Um, but all we got to do is uh, open the line up there. And we're primed, so we now we're just going to push down, pump in. We're actually pumping oil in right now, about two or three ounces, about two ounces per draw. And we're just drawing it in and then pushing it back out. We're gonna do this about, I don't know, about four times. What we're trying to do is about, is introduce 15% uh, POE to the total capacity of the uh, refrigerant, of the oil inside the compressor that came with the compressor. So if, if the oil came with, if the compressor came with, you know, 20 ounces of, of oil, we're just gonna add 15% of that. There we go, that's about four. That's good enough. And now we can start this system up. And since we're f putting it into the suction line, the oil will go right into the compressor upon startup. Yeah, guys, just wanted to show you how to add uh, POE to the system. Pretty simple. Nothing too intimidating about it. Nothing too techy about it. Just pumping it into the suction line. So, all right, well, let's get this thing fired up and see how it responds. Now we're just going to quickly uh, turn this system on, get the uh, oil to suck in. And we are good to go. So now that, uh, now that six to eight ounces of POE oil will now mix around with the mineral oil that's inside this system uh, and help with the uh, return of the oil back to the compressor. Okay guys, just wanted to show you a little bit of something else here. Uh, my friend Nate Hicks on uh, YouTube and Facebook reminded me that uh, the this unit comes with just a 3 8 male uh, uh, threaded fitting on here, flare fitting. So we actually went and bought the 3 8 to quarter inch, thanks to Nate giving us the heads up on that. So, uh, but that really helped out because then I was able to screw my hose uh, right on to the quarter inch instead of there being a 3 8 fitting underneath there. So, so we will have to get that adapter.
Uh, the other thing that was uh, kind of brought up to me uh, is kind of all the oil that's all the oil that stays in the uh, line afterwards. It just kind of it's just kind of everywhere. <laughs> so it's just everywhere. I think it's going to take a while to get all this out of that hose. So got to watch out for oil. Thank <laughs> you.